a very good morning to everyone i hope everyone is fine and safe at their home so we will begin physics chapter number 7 so so there are different section uh, i want to ask someone from 7th a just raise your hand 7th a 7th a okay uh, okay uh, one minute Seventh A, Adit Aditri Singh. So, what was the last topic uh, discussed in your class? Can you hear me? Seventh A. Okay, Sarthak Tiwari. Can you tell me what is the last topic discussed in your class? Seventh A. Sarthak. Just unmute yourself. sir electric bell electric bell okay okay fine okay from 7th b anyone 7th b just uh, just lower your hand from uh, different class 7th b only okay okay tell me ankita 7th b what was the last topic discussed in your class this fast don't waste time 7 to b okay shams tabrej okay last topic sir till the electric bell electric bell okay now from 7th d 7th d uh, gaurav yadav uh, niharika niharika what was the last topic sir make your own magnet make your own magnet okay 7th e 7th e A student from 7th e just raise your hand and rest of you just lower your hands 7th e sir ayush shrivastav 7th e okay last topic uh, sir has not started in to- uh, sir any chapter of sir third term okay 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 fine so we will begin with the chapter from uh, we will begin the chapter electricity and magnetism from the beginning okay so all of you just uh, attend the classes very carefully okay and pray we just uh, we will meet in the classroom as soon as possible okay until we have to take a uh, precaution so we will start the chapter from the beginning means chapter electricity and magnetism okay and before starting the chapter i want to inform you just attend the class very carefully okay if you have any doubt we will discuss at the evening 5 to 6 the group will be open and we will discuss the doubts otherwise if you feel problem you can personally text me okay so beginning with the chapter magnet okay topic is magnet so you all are familiar with the term magnet means whenever you hear the word magnet you know the property of attracting okay because magnet attract the magnetic material always remember magnet attracts the magnetic material okay so how magnet was discovered so i think in the last class you have discussed that there is a shepherd whose name is magnes okay so when he was going with his ships and goats so what happened just lower your hands if you have any doubt we will discuss at the last okay lower your hands everyone So what happened? Okay, so he is going with his ships and boats. So during some places, what happened? The nail is in shoes. Got stuck. Uh, got stuck means attracted towards any rock. And he is carrying the stick. And the bottom portion of the stick is made up of magnetic material, just like iron, copper, or we can say any magnetic material. Same. So what happened? He observed that his shoes and the stick which the bottom portion is made up of magnetic material got stuck uh, there in a specific portion of the rock so what happened after the several uh, uh, further discoveries uh, they find that this magnetic material is a magnet 
and they named magnetite then the first natural magnet found is magnetite and this magnetite is named after the name of shepherd whose name is magnes so the first natural magnet is magnetite okay and its formula in the chemical formula fe3o4 okay now there are two properties of magnet okay the first is starts with a and d it is easy to remember by the term ad a d the first property of magnet is attractive attractive and d for directive okay there are two properties of magnet a d a for attractive d for directive and these two properties are of magnet okay one two so we know what is attractive means the property by virtue which magnet attracts the magnetic material just like iron copper nickel these are magnetic materials so this chalk is not magnetic material chalk cannot be attracted by the magnet so chalk is non magnetic material magnet only attract the magnetic material it will not attract the old plastic okay so these are non magnetic material okay so the material which got attracted towards the magnet is called magnetic material and the rest of them are called non magnetic material now attractive property we uh, now we have discussed the property due to which magnet attracts the magnetic material towards itself and what is directive property all we know about the sign convention of direction that is east west north south so whenever we suspend of abhinav kumar gupta what happened any doubt abhinav kumar gupta any doubt you have raised your hand don't raise your hand unnecessary if we will take doubts at the end of the class okay because uh, the class timing the class time is only for 25 minutes okay now so whenever we freely suspend a magnet so in which direction it will goes always in the north south direction so if if magnet suspended freely or allowed to move freely on a pivot pivot means when we fix it from any fixed point so what happen the magnet or any magnetic needle always point in geographical this is geographical north south direction so this property of magnet is called directive property so what we can say always points towards towards geographical north south direction and the question is why the magnet always points toward the geographical north south direction so it is believed that at the poles of our earth means suppose this is the earth okay this is east west north south so it is believed that at the poles of a earth there is a very big and strong magnet so due to this magnet the, the magnet always point towards the geographical north south direction but when you study in higher classes na this assumption is wrong but till class 12 this is the reason why magnets why this magnet always points towards the geographical north south direction because it is believed that that there is a very big and strong magnet at the poles of earth that is north and south pole now <clears throat> this magnet is also called lodestone the directive property means the magnet which is uh, which having property of directive direction which all, always points towards geographical north south direction also called lodestone okay so the magnet also called lodestone and the first ma magnet found is the first natural magnet is magnetite fe3o4 now in page number 116 there are some important properties of magnet that can be summarized so we will discuss here one by one each property of a magnet
now magnet has two poles means if there is a magnet there will always have a two poles that is north and south pole north pole and south pole okay every magnet exists with two poles suppose if we cut the magnet from here so automatically there will be south pole generated here like this suppose if we cut the magnet so we will get two equal parts of magnet north now here which pole will generate opposite of this pole here the north pole is here so here the opposite of north is south so south pole will generate it here now for this magnet second part here is south pole and here which pole will generate north pole if we further cut the magnet in two halves what happen again two poles will generate opposite of each other we are north north south here is south and which pole will uh, generate here north so the magnet always exist in two poles single pole magnet is not possible okay ansh 7c ansh what happened any doubt sir we have read this lesson in Haan, the I, class I, i know i know but uh, in 7c uh, the students uh, didn't this uh, no about this so i have started from the beginning okay so if you have discussed it will be revision for you okay okay sir okay okay sir so we uh, we are discussing the first property of a magnet that magnet has two poles north and south poles and according to the directive property of a magnet these poles will direct towards which direction the north pole is towards here it is given the poles are named according to the orientation of ends of the freely suspended floating magnet towards the geographical direction means if this pole is towards north direction so we will name north pole we will take the example clearly here so sign convention is east west north south suppose this is a magnet okay so this pole is towards the north direction so this will be called north pole this is towards the geographical south direction so this pole is called south pole s for south pole of the magnet and n for north pole of the magnet now second point the strength of a magnet is more concentrated near its end poles means the magnet is powerful near its poles means if we if this is a magnet okay this is a bar magnet which is rectangular in shape so what happen if kindly lower your hands the students vaishnavi and ansh kindly lower your hands because there is a confusion okay so don't raise your hands unnecessary so if this is a bar magnet and the end points are called poles this is suppose this is north pole south pole so the magnet is powerful around the poles if we this is a magnetic material suppose this is a magnet and this is a magnetic material so what happen if we keep the magnetic material towards the magnet okay so what happen there is a range from where the magnet will attract and these magnetic material will be attracted towards the poles either this pole or this pole okay so magnetic strength of a magnet is powerful at the uh, at the poles the space around a magnet in which its influence is realized is known as magnetic field okay so this is the interesting point for this magnet okay so suppose there is a magnet okay and the magnetic material is very far away from here so what happen the magnet will not attract because there is a range na from where the magnet can attract suppose this is a magnet and this is there is a some magnetic material okay so from here we observe that magnet does not attract this magnetic material suppose iron pin or iron material so from this point the magnet will not the magnet is not attracting this iron pin suppose this is point p then what happen we shift the this iron pin towards some distance towards the magnet suppose this is the point q okay now here also we observe the magnet does not attract the iron pin now we have shift little bit more and this is point r so we observe that 
when we put this iron pin at the location or point r so what happens this magnet attract the this iron pin okay now the same things we will do this side okay and we observe from this point a b c here x y z here t u v so the range where magnetic uh, property or magnetic influence can be realized is called magnetic field of the magnet this so this is magnetic field of the magnet only under this field if we keep a magnetic material then only magnet will attract magnet will attract the magnetic material now here there is no magnetic field influence so from here the magnetic material will not get attracted towards the magnet okay okay so the direction of magnetic field is found at the direction along with the north pole of a magnetic compass would move so from this uh, we have done experiment this not we have there is the experiment that when we put a magnetic needle so what happened the magnetic needle the north direction it is given the direction of magnetic field is found as the direction along with the north pole of a magnet north pole of a magnetic compass would move if we keep a magnetic compass and the from where the north pole will show this is the direction of magnetic field and in the next point it is given the same thing the magnetic field or strength of a magnet is commonly explained by the magnetic field lines or magnetic lines of force so i have explained you that suppose this is the range of magnetic field so from here, this portion only we can experience the power or strength of a strength of a magnet so magnetic field lines decide the power or strength of a magnet suppose this is magnet 1 and this is magnet 2 the small one so this mag from this small magnet the magnetic field lines or influence will be small if we take uh, the bigger magnet this and from this first case suppose it is first case second case and third case big magnet so what happened the magnetic field line will be more dense more at the more area like this suppose this is a magnet so this area will be more okay so with the help of compass needle this is connected to the point point 6 and point 4 is connected to the uh, connected to the same concept with the help of compass needle it can be found that magnetic field lines of a magnet starts at the north pole and enters at the south pole north south so what is given here it starts from the north pole means the magnetic field like a curved direction from the north pole and goes toward the south pole arrow will be like this same okay and in the next point we will discuss near the poles the magnetic field lines are very dense okay now coming point by point keep your name proper what you are uh, have named just like this symbol keep your proper name okay that will be better so the magnetic field lines start from the north pole and enters to the south pole and what is the uh, magnetic field lines nature that is it is curved in nature curve curvilinear line okay now the field lines run from the south pole to north pole inside the magnet means outside north to south and inside south to north south to north and these magnetic lines are parallel straight here so two things we have concluded from the magnetic field lines that magnetic field line m f l in short form magnetic field line inside the magnet inside the magnet okay i will ask randomly to any of the student you have to answer inside the magnet the direction of magnetic field line okay who will answer inside the magnet okay what's so dikshit inside the magnet magnetic field line south to north okay this is south to north and outside north to south north to south and what is the nature of the lines inside the magnet hello 
हाँ वॉट इज द नेचर ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन इन साइड द मैग्नेट ओके लेट्स गिव चांस टू अनदर स्टूडेंट ओके सादगी सिंह सेवेंथ ए सादगी ओके दे आर पैरल पैरल और वी कैन से स्ट्रेट एंड वॉट अबाउट द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन विच इज आउट साइड द मैग्नेट वेरी गुड सो टू थिंग्स वी हैव कंक्लूडेड फ्रॉम द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन इन साइड द मैग्नेट द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन आर स्ट्रेट एंड द डायरेक्शन इज फ्रॉम साउथ टू नॉर्थ साउथ टू नॉर्थ एंड वॉट अबाउट आउटसाइड द मैग्नेट आउटसाइड द मैग्नेट इज फ्रॉम सेम द स्ट्रेट विल बी बिकम कर्विलीनियर कर्व लाइन्स and this direction will be become opposite north to south now on the seventh point okay lower your hands if i ask uh, uh, you just raise your hand okay now there is no need to ra raise your hand magnetic field lines of force from continuous flows curves or loops now this is the important point that magnetic field lines form continuous flows loop so you have discussed that flows figure this is open figure this is closed figure okay so the magnetic field lines form a closed loop okay so the next point is the field lines are more closely spaced concentrated near the poles which explain the maximum strength near the magnetic poles so at the starting we have discussed that the strength of a mag magnet is maximum at the poles or we can say that ends of the bar magnet this is the bar magnet okay not south so the strength of a magnet or power of a magnet is maximum at the poles and here the magnetic field lines are very dense okay it will not intersect each other so near the poles the magnetic field lines are dense okay okay uh, and what other things and here between or midpoint they are far from each other so maximum strength at poles and minimum strength at the midpoint mid of the magnet now my question is to uh, is which magnet is a strong magnet bar magnet or horse shoe magnet that is u shape okay who will answer which magnet is strong 8c can 8c okay tanisha uh, apshin 8 okay which magnet is strong okay uh, let's give chance to another aryaprata aryaprata plus 73 sir bar magnet okay see bar magnet is like this okay and horseshoe magnet like is like this so here poles are like this north here south here very far from each other but in horseshoe magnet both the poles are close to each other so this makes the horseshoe magnet strong than the bar magnet so remember that horseshoe magnet is strong magnet than the other permanent magnet that is like bar magnet or any a uh, rectangular shaped magnet so horseshoe magnet is a strong magnet because both the poles are near to each other so that makes the magnet strong okay now <clears throat> ninth point the field lines tend to contract longitudinally that is the field lines bend along the length and are spaced loosely near the middle of a magnet that the same thing i have discussed that field lines have spaced near the midpoint mid of the magnet and near the poles they are very close close to each other or we can say very dense now point number 10 that is a very easy point and very important point very easy and very important point that there are two poles of a magnet north and south okay like poles and unlike poles like poles with same pole north north or south south and like poles with north south okay so like poles repel each other means if we keep the magnet like this north 
south and south north means south south like poles same poles they will repel each other they will get get far away from each other okay so like this suppose these are two magnets okay and this is the south pole and this is the south pole if we keep the magnets near each other what happened they will get far from each other and this is called repulsion so like poles repel each other and this opposite what about unlike poles south north okay north south north south here is south here is north so what happened they will attract each other okay they will attract each other so conclusion is like poles repel each other unlike poles attract each other now my question uh, is where the magnetic field lines are very close or dense where the magnetic field lines are very why you have name like this dr bagaria just write your name in class section okay 7 uh, 7a sure you will answer that where the mag uh, magnetic field lines are dense or we can say very close to each other so near poles near poles and what about the mid portion of the magnet so what what about the mid portion of the magnet if there is a magnet here the magnetic field lines are very close and what about the mid portion so they are the magnetic field lines are uh, are on far from each other or we can say they have space between them okay now just lower your hands all of you lower your hands okay now the next uh, topic attraction and repulsion between the magnets we will discuss in the next class and your homework is that you just read investigation 7.2 times okay those who have uh, discussed there is no problem for class 7th e student you have to read it uh, two times okay so if tomorrow we will discuss so what happened it will be easy for you so that's for today thank you bye